guys and welcome back to If Only April channel. So in today's video we're going to be making a DIY letter shelf the easy way. A few months ago I did a bit of a relocation of our rooms in our rental house and what used to be before my office became our kids playroom and what used to be our bedroom became my office which has two windows and has tons of light and I use it also as my craft studio. But in the last couple of months I wasn't able to do anything with the space and to be honest, it looks a little bit sad. So in the next couple of weeks, I'm planning to do a complete makeover of my boring office. If you want to follow my journey, subscribe to my channel and keep watching. So the first thing that I was planning to make is this DIY letter bookshelf that I'm going to be using to display all my favorite finds and just like to look pretty on the background and also be very functional because I can store a lot of things there. In the last week, in my Instagram stories, I was letting you in my creative process behind the scenes. And based on your recommendations, I'm actually making this shelf and not the other one. Are you following me on my Instagram, by the way? I think you should just go and do it now. Yes, do it. Let's get to building. Ding, 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 ding. So let's get started with the shelf. So I was debating what to use for the shelves itself, you know, like, and I could use the plywood, but I'm not a big fan of the plywood for multiple reasons. So I decided to go with the regular wood. But the home goods doesn't carry a wood that's wide enough to make a shelf, especially 15 inch uh, shelf. Uh, I'm gonna board different width, and now I'm gonna try to glue them together to make the width that I need. Let's get to it. So you see I've got here one by four, one by six, one by eight, one by ten, and one by twelve. But remember that the wood is never actually the way they say. So this this one, for example, it's supposed to be one by eight, but it's not really one by eight. It's seven and a half. So always remember that when you choose your wood. Measure your shelves at 24 inches wide. I think it was like easier for me to do and not to be bothered with other measurements because it's just two feet wide. So they all pre-cut and as you can see it's not that bad because these three boards they're fine and only two bottom ones you see we'll have to glue it here and we'll have to glue it here. Then go ahead and lightly sand the edges of the boards to get rid of all the splinters. I mean, you can also use a table saw to rip off the perfect edges, but I was too lazy to do that. Then use white clamps to clamp it together. Unfortunately, in my case, it didn't really work out, so I had to come up with another solution. Okay, so I'm not sure if I don't have right clamps or I just don't know how to glue two boards together, but it did not work. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just use Crackjack, make pocket holes to connect these two boards. Since it's gonna be two bottom shelves, it's not gonna be visible on the outside. And uh, yeah, I mean, I don't care if they're there. Using pocket holes and the crack jack is a super simple way to build furniture and to make a secure connection between two boards. Went for it. Because you know what? Who has time to do something complicated, right? It's done, but we've got some imperfections in it and we're gonna fix it right now. The wood filler is so perfect to hide imperfections and I'm falling in love with it more and more because you can literally just like fill up any crack. And voila! Yay! We've got ourselves a beautiful shelf. We will need to still sand it later, but let's get it dry and make another shelf. The second one is not perfect at all, but uh, we're gonna smooth it out with the sander. I hope that's gonna work. Don't skip this step with the sanding because that's gonna make the shelves smooth and nice and looking professional and feeling like a baby's butt. You can still see this thing that over here after sanding, but you know what? It does not bother me. I think it looks good. Plus it's gonna be on the bottom, so it's not gonna be visible. I'm gonna push it towards the wall. Put it on 10 degrees and chop it. Then we're gonna take another one by two, make two 24 inch slats for the support on the top and the bottom. So these two boards will make a top and the bottom of the base. Then you need to go ahead and assemble the base using glue and two inch screws. Don't be shy on the glue. I mean, do you remember what happened with me before when I didn't use the glue? So glue is crucial for the sturdiness. 
Okay guys, so this is why I always check what you screw together. Angle goes this way, angles goes this way. Oops. So with the bottom part it's a bit trickier because this little angle is gonna come out, but we're gonna sand it down later. Also, don't skip a step of using triangle to make a perfectly 90 degree angle. That's very important. Now it's time to assemble the shelf. And since I don't have the helping hand, besides these two kids running around, I cut these two boards and they're both like 11 and a half inches. So this is gonna be the distance between our shelves. So I just put it here and uh, another one over here to support while I'm drilling from both sides, those shells on the base. Mm. Even if I have a helping hand, spacer is so important for fast assembly. I bet you wouldn't want to spend time measuring the distance between every shelf. Place spacers on the floor and start assembling it from the bottom. Also take a level to be precise with the shelf placement and don't forget to level not only horizontally but vertically too. Then make pilot holes with a drill to prevent wood from splitting and use two inch screws to attach shelves to the sides of the base. And then work your way up to the last shelf, on the top. <laughs> make sure it's all leveled and neat. And then it's ready! So I decided for now to leave it bare and not to stain it with any color because I want to see how it's gonna incorporate in the overall design of the office and how it's gonna look together with other pieces of furniture. I'm probably not gonna leave it this way, but it is this way for now. And I kind of like it. So if you're new here, please subscribe and follow me on my journey of this complete office makeover. That's gonna be exciting. Oh, I'm so excited. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week for another project. Bye! Yeah! Mm -hmm. Mama! Okay, hold on. See you today.